Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we are going to see about macros which is a salesforce feature and let's get into the video. So macros introduction. So macros is a salesforce feature which can be used to do a repetitive task which a user is doing within a single click. So let's see an example. Consider if a user is doing a repetitive task on a daily basis like sending an email, creating an event for records. So in that area they can leverage macros and they can do those kind of actions within a single click which will reduce the execution time and increase the efficiency which will result in high productivity. So in this way macros is much helpful to do a repetitive task. So let's see the actions that a macro can do. So there are certain set of actions that a macro can do that is sending an email, logging a call, creating an event and updating the case status. Users can use this kind of instructions to create a macro. There is also a bulk macro feature which runs on multiple records at the same time. So users can use that in the list view page like selecting multiple uh, records on the list view and they can run them any macro that they want. There is also a consideration regarding the macros. So any actions that have submit action on that, those actions cannot be reversed. That user should keep in mind. In this slide, we are seeing the permissions needed to run a macro. So if a user only needs to run a macro, then they need the macro object access to read. And if a user needs to create a macro, then user should need create object access in the object level. There is also a bulk macro permissions required on the profile level, which is called run macros on multiple records, which is a system permissions required to run bulk macros. And we will get into the demo. So I will be considering service console app for the demo and in the utility bar the macros is not added yet. So for adding macros in the utility bar we need to navigate to the setup first. First we will navigate to the setup. And in the setup in the quick, in the quick find box we have to enter app manager and click on app manager so in the app manager we have to find the service console app so there we have a service console app for lightning and in, and in the end we have the drop down and if we click on drop down there is an option called edit so it will open the lightning app builder page for us and here we can find the utility item section and if we click on utility item section there is history and notes and we have to add the macros so we have to click on add utility item and here we can see macros is here we click on macros after adding macros we can hit on save so here we have successfully added the macros to the utility bar and navigating back to the service console app and refreshing it and hiding this organizer here we can see that the macros is added successfully thank you